the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. My dear sisters and brothers, welcome to Seek Holy Spirit from Divine Retreat Center, Toronto, Canada. We read in 2 Samuel chapter 14, verse 14. The word of God goes like this. We must all die. We are like water spilled on the ground, which cannot be gathered up. But God will not take away a life. He will devise plans so as not to keep an outcast banished forever from his presence. I hope you may understand this word of God. Let me read it once again. We must all die. We are like water spilled on the ground which cannot be gathered up. But God will not take away a life. He will devise plans so as not to keep an outcast banished forever from his presence. Sisters and brothers, the word of God reminds us about our true identity that we are nothing. We are nobodies. We will all die. And how we will die? As if the water that has been spilled and been poured on the ground, it cannot be taken back as if it is been, been vanished from this earth. The Lord is reminding, do we know that our life is so limited, so transitory, that we need to disappear from this world the day the Lord wants us to go back to Him? And He is reminding us, so what we have to do? We have to be kind. We have to forgive. And the scripture, as we continue to read, we, we will understand the, the pure meaning of this word of God is like this. Those who are kind to a prodigal son like the Abba Father, God will be kind to him. God will never let him be destroyed. If you have a heart to forgive, to accommodate, People like prodigal sons, even those who try to destroy you, God will protect you. This Bible, this verse is in the context of David and his son Absalom. Absalom tried to destroy David and his kingdom. Absalom murdered Amnon and now Absalom is hiding. He is living far because he is afraid his father will also take revenge. Then the Lord is reminding David, it is true, Absalom committed murder, is a criminal. But when you treat him with compassion, when you protect him, though he committed a crime, I will also protect you. That's why King David is known to be a king after the heart of God. There are many people who try to destroy us. And the Lord is reminding us our own limitations that we have to go one day. Can we go to God with this enmity? This hardship, this unforgiveness, let's pray for a new heart of forgiveness through the power of the Holy Spirit. May the good Lord bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.